So you're going to be able to tell this pretty quickly, but again, I recorded this on the same day that I forgot to unmute my mic, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with this one. Uh, we're just going to try something different, try to make this video at least entertaining for you guys. It's actually a really, really good, really tight game. It's worth watching in my opinion, so we're just going to have some fun with this. So we got the Wild Pigs leading off. We got Bacon, Evans, Wagner, Stiffner, Moon, Michaels, Hardman, Blings, and Holmes. Uh, Holmes has been having a little bit of a rough streak recently. He hasn't exactly been finding the strike zone too well. A little too many pitches, just getting too much hard contact. Uh, leaving a little too much stuff, just kind of hanging over the plate. So we're going to see how he can uh, hopefully relax a little bit today. Try to get some things kind of just going through. Uh, so we got the free boaters. The free boaters are not really lighting it up this season. They've been doing pretty bad. Uh, we should be able to, you know, have a pretty good game here on our hands. Ooh, lining straight out to the pitcher. It's always a tough one when that happens. Looks like Durbin's going to be trying to keep the ball off the plate today. At least trying to keep the ball away from them. Uh, we're facing a pretty tough hitting team here in the free boaters. So they're going to... They're going to be able to make some decent contact. It's not exactly a team that's known for, you know, their hard hitting, but uh, definitely, definitely can swing the wood. That pitch is just absolutely nasty. It looks like he's got it on today. Uh, if he can keep that up, this is going to be a quick hitting, quick game, and a nice, easy win for the Wild Pigs. The Wild Pigs are sitting right now, I believe, at 5-2. and two. Uh, Definitely need to, you know, step it up a little bit. You know, get back into sole position of first place. The Herbosaurs are kind of right on their tail. Uh, so what do we got here? Another nice, easy round out. One, two, three inning. Nice and quick. Durbin's got to be happy with that one. So we're looking at a good eye here from Bacon. Nice uh, outside strike. And uh, popped up to center. Looks like someone's going to be able to make a play on that one. Flash has been kind of moving up the order recently with the Wild Pigs, and you can't help but wonder uh, if that's starting to lead to some of his uh, hitting issues right now. He hasn't really been swinging the bat too strong. That was some solid contact, but... Ooh, right there. Spanky just smacked one right past the pitcher. Uh, always nice to see when the pitcher doesn't have those like amazing cat-like reflexes to just snag it out of nowhere. Uh Always feels a little bit too much like Neo's on the mound at times. So that's a good stolen base right there. When you're facing against a team with a bad catcher, you kind of got to hope that the, the team will exploit it. Nice attempt at a hit and run, but unfortunately it goes straight at the third baseman. Uh, looks like we're going to have a little tight game here. Alright, Durbin's trying to locate the play. He's doing a good job of moving the ball around, as you can tell. Uh, he's trying to keep them from getting any kind of hard contact and just kind of, ooh, wow. And he struck out looking. It's a solid outing so far for Durbin. That's some hard contact heading into center. Is Moon going to be able to track this one down? Yes, he can. Always nice to see that for the home team. Uh, and we got a nice little solid hit straight up the middle. Uh, there's no tracking that one down for Moon. That's going, that's going to the fence. Looking at a double here for the Freebooters. It's going to try to keep the ball low here in this situation. Uh, really just trying to make sure they don't elevate something that's going to, you know, turn into a double and allow that guy to score from second. Seems to be the strategy at least. This is a tough situation right here. Gonna have to make sure he makes this pitch work. Full count. Pretty decent hitter at the plate. Oh, and he bloops one up. But there's there's enough time for the guy to catch it. And we're gonna throw it to first for the out from second base. Alright, time for Moon. Moon's got some solid power behind the bat. Definitely able to swing it. He's not really been making much contact this season, and it looks like that's going to continue with another strikeout. Now, Bloop Michaels was our original leadoff hitter for the Wild Pigs, and he has kind of found his way moving down the order slowly. And you can see why. He's just had some really bad luck right there with another hard hit to third turning into an out. 
Now, Rosie has been able to find her way off the bench because of her ability to hit the ball. However, it looks like her eye is going to need a little bit of work. She got lucky there. And another line out to the first baseman. That's another 1-2-3 inning for the Piggies. So Durbin's not getting any help here. He's got to be sitting here on the mound a little bit nervous. Normally his goal is just to make it about five innings and let the relief staff kind of take over. But it seems like he's kind of finding the zone right now. Definitely a nasty pitch right there for strike three. All right, we got the pitcher up at the plate. You really got to hope that the pitcher's not going to be the guy to beat you here at the mound. And it looks like it's going to sneak right past him. Durbin's uh, probably trying a little too hard for the pitcher there. Probably could have, you know, ended that with a few less pitches. He's already at 33 pitches through uh, two and two-thirds. He's going to need to really step this up if he wants to stay in the game at all. But if he can continue his strikeouts here and continue to not get hit, we're looking at a solid outing for what is normally the weakest starter on the Piggies. Looks like Blings is in today. He's going to be uh, subbing in for Stacy. Definitely a decent backstop behind the plate. But this guy's got some monster power. Definitely able to crank it to right field if he gets behind it right. Ooh, someone's getting a souvenir out there and right. And we get a nice hit straight up the line and the third baseman isn't able to handle it. Looking like the hot corner's a little extra spicy today. You can tell Durbin's not used to swinging when you see him swing at stuff like that. It's not something you want to be swinging at. Uh, definitely, definitely not a... At this point in the game, he's really got to be thinking one thing. He's got to be thinking just advance the runner. His goal has got to be to not hit into a double play and to not strike out. He just needs to put the ball into play. If he can do anything decent here, we might be able to get a guy in scoring position. Fortunately, that is a soft pop fly to left field. It's going to be tracked down easily. So... Bacon's up again. Bacon, as you know, was in a little bit of a slump earlier this season. He actually lost his position to Turbo. And he basically just showed up Durbin how Durbin was supposed to take that last at bat. Moving the, the base runner into scoring position. But unfortunately now we got two outs. It's going to be a little tougher to score here. Uh, Flash is definitely ahead of it. Definitely swinging a little early. Definitely chasing a little too hard. That was a nasty hit straight down the right field line if it could have stayed on the fair side. Unfortunately, he's going to end up just hitting another grounder to the first baseman. And we are now through 3-0-0. Zero, zero. you got to wonder with Gunnar Johnson if it's just really hammer long bolo just kind of in disguise. Because it really does seem like there's a little bit of relationship there. I don't know if you've noticed that, but... Uh, Definitely seems like his evil twin or something. So now with a guy on first base, Durbin's going to have to definitely hope his infield can get him through the inning. They managed to snag one at second, but aren't able to turn the double play in time. He breaks that one up. Durbin's keeping it outside, trying to go for that weak contact, trying to continue to paint the corners, paint the black. Not really give them anything easy to hit here. And they're able to turn a double play despite a terrible throw out of Spanky up there. Spanky's really going to need to redeem himself here at the plate. And it looks like he's going to be able to do that with a nice easy hit. This should be two, maybe even three. Let's see if he can crank it out. He's definitely got his PF Flyers on today. So you got a leadoff triple here. You got to be thinking for the rest of the order now. All you got to do is crank one out and score here. So all Theodore really needs to do is just pop one out into the outfield, and this game is probably under lock. The way Durbin's been pitching today, you've got to hope that he's going to get the win. He definitely deserves it. And that first run of run support is definitely going to be essential to cranking this through. And Moon's going to be able to just hit another weak grounder to the shortstop, unfortunately. All right, so we got Bloop Michaels at the plate. Bloop is first pitch swinging, another pop fly to right. Ugh. 
So at least the pigs are able to put one on the board, but unfortunately it is not the kind of inning you're hoping for when you end up with a leadoff triple. You gotta be hoping you can do a little bit more with that other than just score the runner on a sack fly. Moon's trying to show off that arm, remind people that yes, he can throw you out from the outfield. Don't sleep on him, even if it is probably the weakest arm in this piggy's outfield. You can tell with a man on that uh, Durbin is starting to get a little nervous. He's trying to keep the ball where it's not going to take a strong hit. Let's see if they can turn the double play, and it looks like it's going to be just a tad slow on the transfer. That's a little bit unfortunate. Throwing it in the dirt. You got to wonder why they didn't try to steal on that one. That would probably have been a freebie. And it looks like we're going to have a weak pop-up straight to Bacon. He's ready for that one. Just a little bit of sizzle. So we got the number eight hitter here. Durbin honestly should try to keep things, uh, you know, just off the plate. Try to throw some balls. Hope he gets some swings and misses. Hope he can get a strike out here. There's really no reason to let this batter see any kind of pitch. They really don't need to, especially with the next guy being the pitcher. Uh, this should really be a free out here. And it looks like Durbin's not going to take that advice. Durbin's going to get a little ballsy here. He's going to try for it, and he's going to end up with runners on first and third. You've got to wonder why they're not subbing out the pitcher here, though, because, like, this is a key pivotal moment. The Freebooters are known for their bullpen. It's definitely the strength of this team. They've definitely got some key arms in that, and they could probably run this through for the next four innings off that bullpen. But leaving them on the bench right now and not putting in a better bat could come to haunt them later on in this game this is definitely a pivotal moment where they really could have got some run support there definitely could have scored so the piggies have to be wondering a little bit what was going on there and definitely a little happy that they escaped through rosie with another line drive to center field that seems to be kind of the the move today Bloop's going to try to, you know, smack one up there too, but unfortunately his is going to be a little bit weaker and easily tracked down as well. Now, it looks like the Piggies are thinking they need to pull in a substitution for Durbin. Uh, Durbin's made it through now five innings perfectly so far. Uh, obviously, he did give up a hit, but he's been able to keep all the runs off the board. That's what you really want to do at the end of the day here. Now, Turbo's got to be thinking, just get on base. And if you're going to walk a guy with this kind of speed, you've got to be a little bit insane, to be honest. Definitely something you got to be careful with. Now, Bacon's going to try to advance the guy. And unfortunately, it looks like he's swinging a little bit too much in the dirt. It doesn't look like it's going to be the pitch he needs. And he checks it. Oh, you got to wonder if he could take that one back. I'm sure he wishes he could have swung there. I'm sure. So the pigs are going to swap out their pitchers. They're going to put in Lantana. Lantana's going to try to take this one home for a little bit. So that's a solid first at bat there. Able to sneak one through. Get an easy out. And, oh, this is, this is looking like it could be dangerous. And, nope, Rosie tracks it down. So, the 176 average, you got to think that this is not going to be the guy to beat you. But this is the number three hitter of this team. You really got to expect a little bit more out of him than what he's been doing and what he's been performing to this time. Not sure what the reason for the slump is. This is actually, I believe, our first time facing against the pre-booters. Uh, but definitely expect a little bit more out of him. Got a pitch like he's a little dangerous. And he shows you why we've been saying he looks a little dangerous with a hard line drive to the second baseman. Bouncing off the glove into center. That's definitely unfortunate. That's not what you want to see if you're the pitcher here. Especially when another line drive straight up there. Oh, man. That is crazy. Nope. 
So this is the most danger this team has been in. It looks like we're going to have to face off with uh, a very unfortunate situation here. Two outs, bases loaded. You're going to have to really key in here as a pitcher, really sneak it through. I'm not sure what she's going to be uh, trying to rely on in this situation, but you definitely got to hope you can get the strike out here. Because honestly, any contact could be trouble here. And strike three looking. Ooh, that's got to feel bad. You never want to be that guy at the end of the day. I'm sure he's going to be taking a seat and probably not getting back up for the rest of the game. Flash with another weak ground ball that seems to be his MO today. Definitely not feeling it. Now Spanky's coming in insanely hot. He's been just slapping the ball around the field. Unfortunately, first pitch swing and another just hard-hitting ground ball to the first baseman. There's been a lot of those today. It seems like that kind of seems to be the, the weak spot where... Uh, the wild pigs just keep continuing to hit the ball. That was a really fast inning. As a pitcher, you got to kind of hope your team could have given you a little bit more rest here. Coming in after 20 pitches the last inning and having to, you know, clean up with a bases loaded strikeout. You see how far Lantana can take this game for us because the pigs are definitely going to be relying on their bullpen hard this game. With a 0-1 game just kind of hanging here, you've got to really, really hope that you can continue to make pitches and continue to just work your way through these orders. And another hit straight up the middle. They are tearing apart the center part of this diamond. Gotta wonder if there were some kind of shifts that maybe the pigs could do here to kind of minimize that. Definitely seems to be where everything is going. Straight back up the middle, but it looks like they're going to be able to turn this double play. This should be a nice, easy one. And we got decent lead here on the hitter. And he's going to take another cut at something pretty weakly hit to the first baseman. Going to make it through. I have a feeling that's the last we'll have seen of that pitcher. Uh, hopefully she's going to be coming up in the order and they'll be able to you know, swap her out there. Looks like Moon hits another weak ground ball to the shortstop. All right, Bloop's going to have to continue to try to work his way out of this uh, slump he's been in. He's been moved down in the order and you can tell why. And we're really, really hoping that he can just kind of, you know, get back out of this. Oh, and he, he makes some solid contact, but you got to think that's just a little short. Just a couple extra, you know, bench presses and maybe that would have, you know, been outside of the park. You can tell Rosie's trying to, you know, kind of carry this game all on her own. Swinging at every single high fastball that comes her way. It's definitely not the way you want to do things, but when you're in a one nothing game, you're trying to just get the lead with any single pitch, you know, just, you know, add a little bit to your lead you have here. Just trying to make things a little bit stronger for your team. Trying to hit one out. This has not really been a good performance at all by the Pigs. It looks like we're going to be making a defensive replacement. Uh, and we're going to have a double switch coming in. It looks like Drake is going to be asked to come in to save the game here. Kind of hold in this situation and just run it through here. So we're in the eighth inning. No outs. He's probably going to be asked to do a two inning save. We'll see how this goes. And we've got a nice lazy hit to Flash who just kind of drifts over and catches that quickly. Spanky with the glove work saving an easy hit. And this looks like something Flash is going to be able to track down pretty easily. 
It's a nice quick inning for Drake. He's got to be happy with that one. Uh, the double switch should save him from coming up in the order. You can tell that the, the team has kind of settled down a little bit and is trying to make some better, better decisions with where they hit the ball. Unfortunately, that one is caught. That was a rocket that you had to hope was going out of the park. But it looks like we got another solid base hit right here. Line drive to left field right past that third baseman. It's what you really need when it comes down to it. Bacon's going to try to advance the runner, and it looks like he's going to be successful at that, but he's going to be thrown out at first. So two outs, guy on second. Can Flash bring the lead to two? There's a reason why he's moved up in the order. He's been solid for the piggies, but it does not look like he's got it in him today. Drake's going to continue in. He's going to try to get that save, but we're looking at a lead-off single for the Freebooters. This game is getting tight now. Ball one low and inside. Ball two inside as well. Drake is clearly not trying to give anything hittable, but he's going to have to now with a 3-0 count. Looks like he's going to challenge high and inside. And he's going to jam the hitter for an easy pop-up to the catcher. Only two outs remain for the Freebooters. And it looks like they just popped one up. This should leave them down to their final at bat. They're going to really need to score here or this game is going to be over. See how Drake decides to pitch this hitter. Strike one low. Throwing a high up in the zone. And it goes right over Bloop's glove. That's got to be painful for these pigs. It looks like this is going to be a run. I don't think they're going to be able to throw him out at home. It's a double to score it and tie the game up here. Drake with the blown save, unfortunately. Drake has been insanely solid this season for the Wild Pigs. Probably their most consistent pitcher. The high velocity he has on that fastball is just utterly disgusting. But instead of getting the save, it looks like Drake's going to be going for the win. The classic, no matter what happens, it's good for me kind of save situation for him. He's going to be able to get the win instead of the save. <laughs> And Theodore smacks one straight up center. It's going to be an easy single. We're going to have to see whether he decides to take a, a base here. The catcher is not exactly the strongest, and he's pretty quick. He's going on the first pitch, and it's going to be an easy stolen base. Is he going to challenge it again, or is he going to stay put? It looks like we have a bloop single. This should be all she wrote. And I think we just ended the game 2-1. Wild Pigs. Drake will get the win, even if he did blow the game and give up the save chance. Wild Pigs win. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. I don't know why my voice is, like, killing me now, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I had fun. This was really kind of dumb, but honestly, when my mic just botched itself like it did, I figured, what can I do that might make this interesting? Because honestly, me just continuing to give commentary... I don't know. I feel like it's not the same thing, you know, trying to give it out for the, after the fact. Uh, what I noticed for myself while watching that, I'm swinging at a lot of bad pitches. I was behind the ball a lot. I really wasn't hitting very well, as you can tell. My pitching was pretty solid. I threw a few too many, uh, you know, consistent patterns. Uh, the almost game-winning hit for the other team was because he just recognized something I'd been throwing and he just smacked it hard. You definitely want to try to avoid that. Honestly, I thought I might have been able to catch that with Bloop. It was real dang close. Uh, we're going to close this video out like we always do and sim it out. Let you guys check out where we're at. So we were 5-2 and two or 4-2. and two. Now we're going to be 5-2. and two. Definitely not a bad position to be in. The Herb Gang, though. The Herb Gang is keeping it tight. This is not a runaway race for us, so we're going to definitely need to kind of uh, tighten things up here. 
definitely not something we want to have to deal with. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. I'll have more season gameplay with me actually remembering to turn my mic on soon. Uh, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Please do check out all our other content. we got a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much. Please do like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. It helps us out so much. And later.